For a number of recent and upcoming projects, I've found myself in need of brass fittings that either don't exist or are quite uncommon to find in local stores. For example, my vacuum pump uses a coarse compression fitting thread, but I wanted to adapt it to a standard hose barb. Likewise, on one of my vacuum cannons, I wanted to split the vacuum lines with a T-fitting, with the second line being a smaller size than the first. It's quite simple to make your own custom fittings for these purposes, but until recently I hadn't thought to try it. I'll show how I made this custom T-fitting, and the same principles apply to pretty much any other fitting you need to make. The two pieces I'll be combining together are a standard T-fitting and a hose splice made for tubing of the smaller size that I'd like to use. One end of the T is cut short, but not completely flush with the other two arms. I want to save some of the internal surface area on that leg of the T to bond with the new section. Next, the hose barb is also cut short. Now this next part I don't recommend you do on a grinding wheel as I am showing here. They're not made for soft metal like brass, and it's kind of dangerous. Better to use a belt sander or file down the fitting by hand. In any case, the purpose of this is to sand down the diameter of one end of the fitting so it can slip inside the cut section of the T. At this point, it's just a matter of applying some flux and using a torch to solder the two pieces together. You want to avoid getting the solder directly in the flame or it will melt prematurely. The fitting should be just hot enough that the solder melts as soon as it comes into contact, and you'll see it flow to fill in the gaps. The modified fitting is then cleaned up on my wire wheel, and it's ready to use. Brass can also easily be soldered to copper, as I did for this coolant fitting on my truck, to pull the rubber hose further away from the exhaust manifold. The copper pipe, which is soldered to the stock brass fitting, was painted black to protect it from corrosion. A similar method was also used for my nitrocellulose cannon build to attach a copper coupling to a brass hinge. I hope you find this video useful, and thanks for watching.